as many of us know, another year of graduation is slowly sneaking up on us. A new generation of young adults are being released into the world, being given a chance to go do great things, and I'm one of them. My name is Ella Thompson, and I will be graduating Greystone Day School in 2024. Graduation is a scary time for every single student facing it. It marks a leap into a new world, one of adulthood, where we're forced to grow up, we're forced to pay more bills, be more independent, and fend for ourselves. It is an exhilarating step for most, but can be a bit more solemn for others. To some, gra graduation means leaving behind everyone and everything that they are familiar with. It's like diving headfirst off of a cliff into rough black waters, unsure of what's waiting below. It is a time of reminiscence, forcing us to look back at, at our time of being children. On that note, let me take you back to my past. Growing up, I went to small schools full of people that I had known my entire life. I, of course, like every other elementary age, elementary school age child, loved it. From kindergarten to fifth grade, I had never gotten anything but a gray, uh, but an A on anything. I had high expectations for myself academically, as did everyone else around me. I had always excelled in school, won the science fair, went to STEM camp, went to STEM camp and overall did everything that I was supposed to. Then comes the next few years of my life, middle and high school. Unlike the rest of my elementary school peers, I did not attend my district middle school. I decided to take, the, take a dive off of a slightly smaller cliff into slightly clearer waters and attend Greystone Day School. Every morning, some member of my family would drive me 45 minutes to a brand new school. I had originally joined Greystone due to its college preparatory nature, but the, but the academics of the institution quickly became one of the many reasons that I love the school. I developed many close friendships, relationships with my teachers and staff, and was given incredible opportunities and was shown what a taste of the freedom after graduation would be like. Greystone Day School is also the place where I learned some of my hardest lessons. Prior to middle and high school, I had always excelled academically, being the top of my classes and being recognized for it. Then I transferred to a school made for smart kids. Greystone Day School teaches some of the most intelligent students that I have ever met, and to be honest, I felt inadequate. I felt as if I was just average. I struggled with my schoolwork. I stayed up all night and cried over assignments. I got bad grades. In my mind, I failed. I let down everyone who put their time and effort into seeing that I got to school every day and everyone who wanted to see me succeed. From the struggle, I learned that I may not always be the best at everything, but I can work for it like I am. I put blood, sweat, and tears into being a good, into being a good student and it paid off. I'm not the top of the class like I would like to be, but I have a 4.2 GPA and currently have an A in every single class that I'm taking. I'm not the best of the best, but I'm the best that I can be. While nothing is set in stone, my future is what I look forward to most. After graduating in 2024, I plan on I plan on attending Stanley Community College to obtain my RN degree, then go on to work in an ICU while getting my BSN in nursing degree online. After I have fulfilled my two to three years of experience in the ICU and, su and successfully obtained my BSN, I will apply, apply to Certified Registered Nurse Anesthetist School. My future is uncertain, but that's what, make life, that's what makes life worth living, not knowing what the next day will bring. And to the seniors, we will all take that dive off the cliff together, and I'm sure I will see you all on the other side.